car park. Just going to way to try and get to Broadkern and Kern Barnacan. It's the 10th of August 2022 and it's 15 minutes to 9 o'clock. So hopefully we'll have to do Broadkern and Kern Barnacan. Visitor Centre at Loch Mick. Yeah, we've got a beautiful view of Loch Mick and the surrounding hills. Now it's 13 degrees here but not a cloud in the sky. Hopefully it's going to be fine and warm. So I'm Craig Namate today. I'm doing this on my own here. So them guys are missing out. The smell from the heather is absolutely gorgeous this morning. Beautiful. Now that highest peak away in the distance, that's Broadcairn. That's where I'm heading for today. It's a wee view back down the loch. Right up to the head. Right, first challenge of the day to get up the zigzags and up onto that top there. But first I need to cross the bridge. Right, here we go, the zigzags. Change of attire as it's getting kind of kind of warm. Just stopped for a breather because my lungs didn't work as well as they used to. Mind you, here's my legs, or my knees, or my heart, for that matter. Not quite at the top of the zigzag yet, but I'm just about there, hard work's done. Let us meet the top of the zigzags now, and that's the rod cairn you can see in the background. Where I'm headed. That is Meekle Pub in Loch Nagar in the background. And if you look down there, you can just see a wee bit of glass alt shield. This is a lovely wee ridge. Now that's a shot of the paths that take you back down to Loch Mick. And hopefully that's where I'll be coming back down. It's at the Corey Chase summit. That's a set of stables, but I think I'll hang about because it Estate people are here or some here. There's a final summit up to Broadkern. Okay, that's me two hours in and I'm not far off the top. I can't believe how well I'm getting on. I'm struggling a wee bit up the hill, but it's really good. The scenery is unbelievable. Right, now there's the last bit. Stony surface. It's like this all the way to the summit. Just a boulder field up to the top. It's me on the summit. Broad cairn, just give you a wee look here in a bit. Quarter to twelve. I've just got a lovely walk over to Cairn Bannock over there. That's just a, it's a peaky one over there. What an awesome day! The views are absolutely stunning. A nice breeze as well, nice and cool. Right, so that's Broad Cairn there, they far now. Cairn Bannock, that's where I've come from, Broad Cairn, and that gully you see down there, in front of Eagles Rock, is where I'm going to drop off. Changed my mind a bit, I'm now going to way up there, which is Cairn Taggart, so I'll be in Monroe number three. Well, in 
unless this is the wing that the decal was on and the decal is weathered off of it, this is another bit of wing that I've never seen before. There are bits of wreckage I've never seen before. A bit there. And then this over here. It's like a bit of the wing. Just look at that view. That's where I'm heading. That's a dewlock and that's a cloudberry. Mmm! The burn that runs into the two loch. Right, not quite at the loch yet. But uh, I think it's just over that next rise, but I need to try and cross the water again. Right, that's my two litres of water gone. So it's now time to fill up with the river. That's another litre and a half. Hope I didn't catch anything. Finally the loch. That took a bit more effort and a bit more time to come down off a Cairn Taggart. But there's the loch. So we're looking for a path on the left hand side. So that's a uh, path is on the loch's left hand side. Path is on the loch's left hand side. Beautiful. Again, stunning. Absolutely stunning views. Awesome. Just the end of the new lock. That's where I started my walk. Just right up this ridge here. I'm just a bit down at Loch Mick. And there it goes, Loch Mick. River up the cross. Oh, right, so that's my back to Glass Alt Shield just a bit. You can see it's a nice ripple in the water, so it's giving me a cold breeze. Just a wee bit through the woods. See if we get somewhere to stop to get something to eat. Now we stop at Glasalt Shield for something to eat. Stick my head in the water. But next time I'll take my boots off. There I go. The long road back to the car park. Can't even see the lock now. So we hopefully a wee walk along the lock there. So we boat there in the in the lock. I guess there must be fishing. Boat house. There's a zigzag path that we went up at the start of the walk. Yeah, we bridge, and that's just at the end of the walk. About half a mile to the car park, which is uninteresting. I'll just let you see at the end of the lock there, just to remind me where I've been. And believe us or not, you just can't take this home in a camera. Let's move back to the car. Someday, 18 and a half miles, eight and a half hours, three minutes. What a day.